I'm Karen from Sparkles and Spurs, and the next footage you'll be watching is when we went to the Crusade for Children's, one of, one of their remote sites at Mayo High School, uh, and we got interviewed by Monty Webb. The WHAS Crusade is a big deal here in this area. The Crusade for Children is a major institution. For months before the telethon, collectors start collecting money um, at intersections or whatever, and all the money goes for the Crusade for Children. Crusade weekend has gotten so large that there's several remote sites, and we get asked every year to come and talk to Monty, and Rachel Platt was there too this year at the Mayo High School. So we had a, a special way of presenting our money and I think you'd get a kick out of it because Monty did. Sparkles and Spurs hosts a dance twice a month at the VFW Post 1693, which is the Hobart's Beach Post on Grantline Road. And we sure are thankful to them for letting us come every Monday and practice. At all of our festivals, we also pass the hat, collecting for the crusade every chance that we get. No, oh, it's great to help the kids. To reach in those pockets every year. Donate when you can. You know, it, it's for those children and they need it so, so badly. So here's the footage of us at Mayo High School and we were clowning around with Monty. And right now, I'm gonna send it back to Monty Webb. Monty, take it away. Hey, thanks, Rachel. We have the Sparkles and the Spurs joining me. They are a line dancing. They're, they're, they're a line dancing phenomenal group, right? Yeah. All right, real quick, let's introduce everyone. You are? Karen. Sharon. Amanda. Cindy. Tina. Jeremy. It's kind of like a roll call, wasn't it? All right, real quick here. You guys, have, you're out here every year with uh, great donations for the crusade. Tell me a little bit about your club and how you raised the money this year. Well, we line dance and every festival we, festival we dance at, or at our VFW when we host a dance, we just collect money and we pick everybody's pockets and we got, we get money every, everywhere we go. So everybody donates. And we should say that they know that you're picking their pockets, right? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not supposed to say that on live TV. No, no. that's okay, that's okay. Um, no. Real quick, so you guys have all the numbers here and we're yes. gonna reveal, reveal them right now, right? Yes. All right, so ready? All here right. we go. This is the grand total, and we start right here, correct? Over there. Oh, right here. wrong end. All right, real quick. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're first. Ready? Six. Nine. 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 Two. Two. Seven. For a, grand, for a grand total of $729.06, uh, you have that upside down. No, just. <laughs> Just kidding. I've been teasing three, three last year. Th yes, three times more than last year. Excellent job. And you guys are already raising money for, for this year. year. Yes. We already have $160 for next year. Yes. Wow, very We're good right. job. For $1,500. Excellent goal, $1,500. I think you guys can do it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And Rachel, we're going to toss it back over to you. Sharon Lamb was the one that came up with the idea of having our money on those little signs, and I thought it was very, very cute. It was unique, if nothing else. We want to thank the Crusade for Children for having us once again, and I hope you enjoyed our show. See you next time.